Hello and welcome to the Scatterable channel and today let me tell you how you can create your own gaming and streaming setup like this one behind me now discussing the right peripherals. So in the last video I talked about the right PC hardware you'd need to get a gaming and streaming setup like this one up and running and now let's talk about the fun stuff in part two that being the right cameras, lighting, microphones and more to get a successful streaming setup up and running. So let's start with arguably the most important aspect of your streaming and gaming setup, that being the microphone. And these come in two categories, either USB based microphones or XLR based microphones that'll probably need to be plugged into a mixer. So let's start with the USB based microphone, that being the Logitech Blue Yeti premium gaming microphone. So these microphones are great for anyone who want an excellent out of the box sounding experience with little setup time that can easily just be plugged into your computer and ready to use. And when paired with a pop filter like with what you get in the Blue Yeti game streaming kit, then this can be a pretty nice sounding all in one experience with again, little setup time and not that much investment. And one other cool thing I wanna point out with these Blue Yetis in specific is if you wanna have a certain color displayed on your stream or a certain aesthetic, these fortunately do come in different colorways so you can further personalize your stream while again still having a very nice sounding microphone to back it up. And speaking of sound, you can actually affect some of the ways this microphone captures your sound through software like Blue Voice, which comes supported in Logitech G Hub software and makes the Blue Yeti come at a great value. And from there, you can fine tune all the sounding aspects of this microphone and you can even go a little bit wild with it or download some community created profiles for the best sounding experiences. So here is what the Blue Yeti sounds like without any voice modification through Blue Voice. And here is what the Blue Yeti sounds like when you add in some voice presets, like this classic radio preset found under Blue Voice. And as for the second option, you can go with an XLR microphone plugged into a mixer. And if you want the ultimate in sound quality, then you're probably gonna wanna get a microphone like the Logitech Blue Sona plugged into a Go XLR Mini or something like that. If you want that radio host show like quality to your streams for your voice and how you broadcast it, then this is gonna be the closest you can get. What makes the Logitech Blue Sona such a game changer though, is that it comes with a built-in preamp providing an additional plus 25 decibels of gain. And why this is so significant is because unlike other XLR microphones that may need their own dedicated preamp, this one doesn't require one since it already has one built in, therefore saving you a little bit in extra cash. So combine a microphone like this with a boom arm like the Blue Compass Premium Boom Arm with its 360 degrees of rotation, and you can have a fantastic audio quality setup for voice recording and voice broadcasting on your streams. Now that you sound good, you need to look good. And this is where having a flexible, versatile, and good looking webcam can make all the difference for your content creation and streams going forward. Which is why for this segment, I am using the Logitech Streamcam. This webcam captures video content in full 1080p resolution at 60 frames per second, along with an intelligent exposure system that best determines the aperture and ISO of the Streamcam to provide you with accurate skin tones. And even then, if you wanted to further tweak the video settings of the Streamcam even further, just like the other accessories in this video, you can go into the Logitech G Hub software and dial that in manually. But it doesn't end there because there are more extravagant versions of cameras you could use with your streaming setup if you wanna provide different creative angles for your content, like with what's available on the Logitech Mevo. This is a wireless camera that you can place anywhere in your room or in your setup to again, provide different angles and you can sync up multiple units of these at the same time through software like the Logitech Mevo Multicam app, which even features handy tools like app controlled live editing to make streaming easier. Moving on though, what's just as important as the video quality on your streams is how well you light up your face or whatever you're showcasing. Unless you're going for a grungy, low quality, low lighting aesthetic, then I recommend you invest in some sort of lighting, which could come in the form of a really big light, but you're in a gaming and streaming setup and space may be of the priority, which in that case, you might want to look at compact LED lighting accessories like the Lytra Glow and the Lytra Beam. Both of these lights look simple on the surface, but you can tweak all the aspects of them, not just through software, but also physically on the backs of them through actual buttons. 
You can tweak the brightness levels, of course the power, but even the color temperature if you want to get a little bit unique with these lights. And again, all these aspects can also be changed in the Logitech G Hub software. And one other cool thing I want to point out with these Lytra Glow and Lytra Beams is that if you do get the stream cam, you can have the Logitech G Hub app open at the same time as these lights and be able to, again, perfectly dial in the exposure and lighting of the glow and the beam with your stream cam to get that right look. Which, speaking of, you can get the Lytra Glow and the stream cam in a bundle if you wanted to check that out. And note, these lights are safe for all day streaming. And then lastly, let's briefly touch on monitors. And this is really simple. Just make sure you have at least two monitors in your gaming and streaming setup. Have one be dedicated to your Twitch, to your streaming software, and maybe even your chat. And then the second monitor dedicated to all things gaming. So hopefully this video was able to best inform you on what accessories and peripherals you might need to kick off a gaming and streaming setup like this, especially for the holiday season. So if any of these Logitech peripherals I've discussed in this video interest you, and they'll all be linked in the description below. So with all that said, thank you so much for watching, and this is the Scatterbolt channel, signing out.